Happy Thursday. Thanks for taking time to drop in for our daily devotion. As you probably recall, on Thursdays, we take a look at our upcoming gospel reading for the week. Also, a quick apology for those of you who watch this devotion early in the morning. As you know, I probably almost always record it in advance and it posts at five o'clock a.m. I did not accomplish that task yesterday, so forgive me. Here is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1. Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Jesus told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. The parable that gets referenced in that verse is one that is often referred to as the persistent widow. Persistent is a wonderfully positive term. What we hear from Jesus is that the judge in that widow, sorry, in that parable, finds her not just persistent, but incredibly annoying. And it's meant to be a reminder to his disciples that she gets justice from an unrighteous judge, meaning the concern that she brings finally gets an answer. He does it only because he's annoyed and wants to move on with other parts of his life. And Jesus lets us know that if she gets justice from him, how much more can we expect that our holy and righteous and loving Lord and judge is absolutely going to work for our benefit? So, as the verse told us, ought always to pray and also not lose heart. And the reason why that's so necessary is probably obvious to you and to me. Maybe you found yourself in situations I found myself in, I think a lot of people do, that when we bring a request to God, sometimes it's the very same request day in, day out, over and over and over and over and over again in our lives. And if that's true of you, you can find yourself in good company, not just with me, but with other biblical authors. Oftentimes we hear these words in books like the Psalms or maybe from the prophets where they cry out to God and say, how long, O oh Lord? It's the recognition that they've been bringing the same concern to him, and yet they feel like he is not yet answered. So Jesus' encouragement is necessary for us. Our Father absolutely does care for you and about you, and he is not tardy in his response. So don't give up. Keep praying. I think that's a difficult thing to feel like he's not late or not tardy. So it occurred to me that being persistent in prayer, bringing the same request to God over and over again, I think it takes, along with trust, it also takes some humility. And I think, really, prayer reminds us about humility. Because if you and I had full control over everything in our lives, we'd probably not ask God for much at all. If we could snap our fingers and get all of our needs, our desires, even our dreams to come true, why would you take that to God in prayer? So you see, when we pray, it acknowledges that we are not the all-powerful Lord of the universe. And so if it takes humility to come before God in prayer, I wonder if also we should apply some of that humility in our waiting. I know it's difficult, but if we would humbly offer our prayers to God and then humbly wait for his response, we might remember that God knows more about us than we know about ourselves. He's the one who knows what's truly best for us. And also, he isn't limited in his view of how the world unfolds, how time goes. See, he's the one who knows what the best timing is for his answer. So you heard Jesus. Be regular in prayer. Be persistent. If being persistent can wear on your patience, you should just trust that God is hearing you is caring about you, 
and is answering you. And in addition to all that, something we should always be content with what we already have today. Thankful for it too. Let's close the prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, because of your tender love toward us sinners, you have given us your Son, that believing in him we might have everlasting life. Continue to grant us your Holy Spirit, that we may remain steadfast in this faith to the end, and finally come to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As always, thanks for taking time to drop in. Look forward to seeing you soon.